while we've seen the uh, the monsoon session of the parliament has been a near washout except for the delhi services bill being passed in the lok sabha uh, now the the start of this week the lok sabha echoed with allegations of the congress party being funded by china in fact uh, the allegation here is that funding came through chinese embassy into rajiv gandhi trust the bjp netas asking for the congress leaders to admit that fact let me cut across to amit bhadwaj who is joining us live from the parliament amit while the opposition collectively are are hoping to have a discussion on manipur with prime minister modi in the house for it here you have the bjp now picking on exactly what they've been saying for the last two years and it appears that new york times report has given them a fresh um, narrative at this point which speaks of chinese propaganda and money coming into the rajiv gandhi trust which is why rahul gandhi allegedly held secret meetings with the chinese uh, these are allegations that have been mounting it appears that the new york times report is really a nail on that coffin Oh, well, Nabila, this has given fresh ammo to the Treasury benches, the Bharatiya Janata Party MPs. For the past two years, we have been, uh, in, time and again, we have heard several BJP MPs, uh, several press conferences at the BJP headquarters, where they have tried to link the China funding with the Congress Party via Rajiv Gandhi Foundation. And now you have a New York Times report, uh, you know, uh, questioning the entire funding and the propaganda machinery being run, allegedly being run by one individual, Mr. Neville Roy, uh uh you know uh, uh singham and uh, the allegation in the uh, nyt report is that uh, 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 mr singham used to uh, was also funding this news website news click and uh, uh, the bjp's link in this particular regard is that uh, uh, the same news click which was raided by the enforcement directorate at that point in time the congress party and several people from the left uh, ecosystem uh, from the left liberal ecosystem had come together and had criticized the government for the ed action on news click and uh, uh, why are this uh, uh, you know a uh, common a uh, uh, commonness or common uh, co uh, commonality what uh, they are saying that see on one hand you have news click being raided by the enforcement director the congress comes at front and defends news click on the other side you also have the same congress party who had which had received allegedly funding from the rajiv uh, for the rajiv gandhi foundation from uh, uh, chinese establishment so uh, th this is the reason the congress party you know must be que uh, questioned on this issue but uh, uh, the allegations which are coming from the treasury benches or rather the bharatiya janata party mps in this case is not uh, there's nothing new yes the nyt report is uh, providing them fresh ammo to target the congress party as well as uh, uh, as well as rahul gandhi in this particular regard and it is uh, the timing of it is quite interesting uh, nabila you know at the very moment when rahul gandhi entered the parliament complex after him being reinstated as mp in the lok sabha uh, that is the time when nishikant dubey from the bjp uh, inside the house inside lok sabha raised this issue about the nyt report saying that uh, these people referring to the opposition parties uh, keep on talking about the nyt report, uh, report yeah. and here is another nyt report which speaks about as to how uh, chinese propaganda was being run uh, by this particular website news click and so, uh, uh, they are trying to connect those dad, uh, dots between the and between and of course click, the bjp Chinese are funding, demanding Congress answers Party. well uh, amit stay with us uh, shahzad punawala of the bjp uh, joining us let's have a listen Rahul ki dukaan mein Chinese saman hi milta hai. We thought it was not just the red diary. Today there's a red agenda of Congress which has been exposed and by whom? By New York Times, the paper that they consider as gospel. The New York Times has given a clear cut account of how Neville Roy Singham and his new clique are dangerous tools of the Communist Party of China and how they are promoting China's political agenda across the world. And this is the same organization when in 2021 Indian agencies acted on them. It was the Congress and its entire ecosystem that came out in its defense. Whether it was Gandhi Surjewala or the stalwart leaders of Congress who defended news clips, saying that these are only journalists trying to do their job. And today, it is the same Congress party which has a standing MOU with the Chinese, the same Congress party which has received funding from Chinese into RGF, which is using this kind of propaganda platforms of the Chinese. to destabilize india therefore the congress party must explain to us what is it that their agenda is 
All right. I'm going to cut across to Tom, Tom Wadakan, who is the national spokesperson for the BJP. Mr. Wadakan, here amid uh, discussions being attempted to uh, have both sides wanting to have a discussion on Manipur, it appears that now has become a secondary issue. The BJP raising issues of Chinese funding towards Rajiv Gandhi Trust, accusing the Congress of cozying up to Chinese when there was an infiltration bid over the last few years. Tell us more on this. Jamila, the fact of the matter is there is a MOU signed by the Congress party, which remains a mystery till, till date. And then there is this uh, New York Times report about uh, a certain portal and how money was transferred for propaganda for Chinese. And uh, they have been also been part of the ecosystem supporting the Congress party. So all this needs an explanation uh, when an I, I would call it an enemy country uh, like China uh, is using our media to uh, expand its base in India. We have sensitive borders with them. Many of the Manipuri issues which we said has gone into the background, no, it's not gone into the background. It is a lot of weapons coming in from China via Burma, which is a soft border. Now, these are issues that need explanation. And if the Congress party doesn't give a reply to this, then, well, uh, we will take this to the logical end uh, through discussions in Parliament to the streets of the, uh, the country and raise issues. Because what is a political party doing meddling around with funds coming in from China? You know... At a time like this, uh, we haven't heard a concrete response uh, denying the same from the Congress. And this is not as if this is the first time the BJP is bringing this on the floor of the House. 2020 was the first that uh, the BJP had raised the issue. And so far, no satisfactory answers have come from the Congress's end. Uh, has an investigation rolled out with this regard? Well, the logical uh, issues will take its own course. I mean, a NIA raids were there on that portal, and there have been uh, leading, uh, what you call, uh, smoking gun evidences to establish links. Investigation is in progress. It's a work in progress. But but the Congress party, which uh, is, claims to be secular and what have you, should explain what does this connect I mean, how many times have they connected with China? And then you have this uh, dinners at the Chinese embassy at crucial times. Information to the Congress party comes from the Chinese embassy. Well, this needs an explanation. All right. Uh, well, Mr. Vadakan, thank you very much for joining us. We hear that.